welcome back to the vlog today is going to be an exciting day i feel like i always prophesy into my day today is going to be a beautiful beautiful day i'm going out now i put my hair in twists what do you guys think i did it yesterday and it just relieves me of thinking about what to do to my hair sister has just gone on holiday and it is still september you guys first of all i need activity for the kids then we are also school hunting so let me know i feel like this is the moment a lot of parents are thinking about schools switching schools so we're going to do a tour today we're going to future trove school and i just want to go and see the amenities and just have a look around and i thought it would be a fun day to take you guys with me the kids are with me and they are so excited but wait before we go let's do outfit of the day this is what it looks like it's a skirt and then a blouse. What do you guys think? Future Trove has crutch, nursery, primary, and they have extracurricular activities. They are in the heart of Lekki Phase 1, you guys. And they have summer school for the kids. It's starting in, the, in first the first week of August up on till the end of August. So you guys sign up. Like, my kids enjoyed their day here. Even though it was a rainy day, you guys, there were so many things to do inside. Like, you wouldn't even care to go outdoors. I think that was the best thing for me. And I was just so happy that my kids loved the experience. The school is so well equipped, they have like a computing and technology lab they have a well-stocked library, an inquiry center, they have a good sized swimming pool, they have a mini basketball area, they have like a cozy room for kids who need first aid or who just want to, you know, chill before their parents come. Like I was so impressed with the standard of the school.
you guys I've just done a tour of future through school and I really like it I like the fact that I brought Tito here I didn't even take him to a class he just found his way and he's happy Tiara is happy and they are really liking it <laughs> they are loving it actually and i'm like hmm, how are we going to make sure we come here because it's quite a distance from my house but i'm going to see how we can make it work because i really like the space and i really like what they're doing with the kids so they have a summer school coming up it starts from the 2nd of august up till september when they do like full resumption so i think this is what they'll be doing for summer like they have a lot of activities planned and I cannot wait to see. work to do work that I've been postponing I have so much of it to do today so much house chores I actually outsource some of my housework but sometimes it's not easy to outsource um, I have to sort out Tiara's clothing um, take out some of the old ones that are too small and then Tito's clothing as well Take out the ones that are too small and leave the ones that are just right and the ones that are like a little bit big. So that's what I'm doing this afternoon. You guys, I feel like a mom's work is never done. Like, you know, they finish. <laughs> just take the one that you can do and, and do your best and leave the rest. But anyways, yesterday we went to... Mm, Yesterday we went to a school just to check out the school, especially for summer school because I need activity for Tito and Tiara. Especially Tiara. That girl has energy. <laughs> and I need her to put her energy somewhere. And I'm trying to win her from breastfeeding. Please, nobody should laugh at me. I am still breastfeeding that girl. Don't laugh at me, please. Please, please. <laughs> So I feel like if I find something for her to do this summer, it will take her mind off breastfeeding. I've tried all the other methods of her stopping breastfeeding. I've put bitter leaf on my boobs. I've um, taken her out. The only one I've not done is like, let's say go and drop her in my parents' place. But my parents are not around and I don't have anybody I can just go and drop Tiara at. I don't have anybody I can just pick up to and leave her there. <laughs> so all the other methods I begged her like I was like Tiara please <laughs> it's been two years my boobs are tired and this girl I feel like the longer she sucks the boobs the more addicted she is like I feel like right now it's addiction it's nothing else addiction so I'm trying to make her stop and that's why I'm looking for like summer activities for them. I feel like I want them to really take swimming seriously. Um, so for that to happen, mommy has to be proactive. Like the swimming place is a bit far. So I have to wake up early, go and drop them, be organized enough to do that. So I'm willing to do that, but we need like other things to do. Yesterday I took them to a school, it's called Future Truth. And they really liked it, you guys. My children like the tattoo. <laughs> when we got there, they refused to leave. They didn't want to leave. I was like, oh, 
it was such a nice school i'm sure you've seen like the clips because i would have put it up on my channel yeah it might be the clip before this one they enjoyed it so much there was so much for them to do and and, and the school they have actually have a summer um session going on which starts um, i think in the next couple of days which is during the first week of august so it starts in august and we would love 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 to attend that summer school so i'm still looking at it i'm still looking at it but i feel like i've been getting i've been getting a few questions lately i always get this question but i feel like now that it is time for people to look for new schools i'm getting the questions more and first of all a lot of people want to know what school tito goes to right now and they feel like maybe the school is what determines the way he talks so they want to know what school tito goes to right now let me tell you guys i feel like i need to share tips with you <laughs> on how to choose schools for your kids um i feel like i need to share some of those tips because before I put Tito in a school, hmm, I did a lot of research. I'm willing to share them with you right now. I feel like rolling t-shirts, I should just like roll it like this. What do you guys think? I feel like this is the best method instead of this method I'm doing. To me, Tiara is like a small two-year-old. I don't know because a lot of the clothes that I bought for her that are like 18 to 24 months, they are still so big for her. I don't even understand. <laughs> this one was a set from River Island. 18 to 24 months. Till now, it is still like a bad way Tiara wears it. I'll just keep it aside. I feel like one of the first things you actually think about when you want to put your children in school, the first thing that the money, like affordability, can you afford the school you want your children to go to? And when I say afford, <laughs> you know, Lagos schools are expensive. And let me tell you guys, it is not by how expensive the school is that determines how good the school is. So it's not by paying so much money, like $200 million, that you know that your child's school is good. There are some schools that are small, underrated, but really good, and they're not as expensive. So first of all, you have to think about affordability. Um, there are some people that take loans just to pay school fees. See, we are still in primary school. Nobody's going to be taking loans for anything like that. I reject it. There are some people that when it is time for school fees, when it's the school fees season, they'll be running helter skelter. And that's because they've put their children in schools that they cannot afford. Like going to big, big schools, you understand? And trying to keep up. And I cannot live that lifestyle. So... You guys, the first thing you have to think about is your pockets and what can you afford. I think the actual most important thing is the quality of the teachers, quality of the principal or the headmistress, if that's what they call it, for primary school. Quality and experience, like their experience, their qualification. That's what you should be looking at. You have to look at the qualification and experience of the teachers and how committed they are. I also feel like you need to talk to the school proprietor. So, you need to know that they are passionate about this job. Some people are just proprietors because they have money to own a school, but there are some proprietors that are so passionate about their school. Like, when I went to Future Trove, you can tell that the lady that was the proprietor, like, she was into her school, like, so passionate. Even the school Tito goes to now, so passionate. Like, that is what you're looking for. Um, proprietors that care about the children, they care about the quality they give, they care about the school, they're not just thinking about money. That is what you need. And I really got that at that Future Truth um, school. And I was just here hoping the Tito can go because they, re they really, really liked it. This one is Shimi. <laughs> Singlets. And when I say I really want them to go, I think what is affecting us is um, distance, location. And that's another thing you have to consider, especially if you live in Lagos or anywhere that's so busy. You have to think about location. You have to think about security. You have to think about, what again? Location, security, safety of your children. Those things are very, very, very important. Location. First of all, let's say your work is in this direction. Your children's school 
is in this direction. What time will you have to take them to school? Then you come back, then go to work and, and do your own, do your, do your honest and do your own thing. That's something a lot of parents will actually struggle with. Especially if you had to go to your child's school like emergency. Imagine. And you know plan for them. The school is so far from where you are that you can you cannot easily reach it. I don't even buy into that. I feel like I want my children's school to be as close to the house as possible. Because first of all, I don't like to wake up at 4 a.m. to do school runs, which a lot of parents in Lagos are doing. I do not like that. My own AC is small. I just don't like the noise of AC. I don't want it to affect what I'm doing. Another tip that I have, I feel like I'm going to turn this into a proper video. Another tip that I have is you need to understand the curriculum of the school. Some schools now have British curriculum, some American standard, some Nigerian standard, some Montessori. You have to understand the curriculum that they have and if that's what you want then you go for it. I think that's also very, 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 very important. Um, the curriculum and the way they're going to teach them you have to understand that so I met someone and they said the way they teach the child in the school is they don't write exams they don't do tests they just promote them to the next class because they believe they have taught them and then when the child came to my house um, there were other children there and this child could not do what the other children could do because in their school they don't do stuff like that so it almost looked like the child could not do normal things because the child's curriculum was like another curriculum and the children that were in my house their curriculum was another one entirely it was so weird and i think that was the time that i knew that you have to study those things imagine a school where there's no exam there's no test like they just promote them to the next class or like there are only two in their class so out of two one person will carry first one person will carry second <laughs> that kind of thing or like they don't do oh, somebody carries first somebody carries second there's no position all of us carry first all of us carry second i that's not the kind of um curriculum i'm used to that's not the kind of experience i had as a child and i feel like those things helped me or pushed me to be better at my studies. I feel like it's a certain thing that I want for my children as well. A bit of competition. <laughs> what did I say? I want a bit of competition just to ginger them to be better than what they are. So you have to look into that. If you have the opportunity to talk to some of the students and talk to some of the parents, I feel like you absolutely should. Like you should go to the school during school time and just block <laughs> block one of the parents during pick up time or drop off time and just ask them for their honest opinion about the school. I believe some parents will tell you. I've done that before, like I go to a school and I just ask and the parents might complain and be like, oh, I don't like that they do this, but this, this part, they are good here. This is their strong point. I like, like, I get feedback and I've done that for two schools now. So you should totally do it if you want to invest in your child, like put your child in your school. You should absolutely talk to some of the students. Talk, um, <laughs> I remember before Tito went to the school he, he goes to now, I saw some of the students outside and I approached them. And I was like, oh, how are you? And they were so courteous and they were so at different occasions. So when I went to the school, I discovered it was one of those things they taught them how to be courteous, how to greet, how to approach people, like just manners and morals, which some schools say they don't do now. So for me, that was important. And um, it was by talking to the students and some of the parents that I knew all these things. So, you know, if you can do that, if you can see some parents and if you can see some students, you should talk to them, just get a feel of the school through the students. After all, the students are the fruit of the tree. Something else you really, really should consider is infrastructure. That one is very, very important. <laughs> very important. Um, I like a school that has like playground, big playground, like assembly for the students. Um, I like a school that has sick bay, must have nice, neat sick bay, clean toilets, good classrooms. See, those things are 
very important. School that is kind of like proactive. You know those schools that always go for debates and competitions? I like schools like that because that's the kind of school I, 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 I grew up in as well. And I was always one of those people that go for debates and competitions. And I was always following my school anytime they were doing stuff like that. And I like stuff like that. So I want schools that can do it and schools that win at stuff like that. <laughs> I want to be on the winning team. So yeah, those kind of things are important to me. For them to also have infrastructure, infrastructure, have a nice library, have just have a good space at school. Hmm? In Lagos these days, there are so many things that they turn to schools. But some people have infrastructure, some they don't have. Eh? Everything cannot be theory, theory. Some things have to be practical. So yeah, infrastructure for me is important. I feel like at the end of the day, you would have to just rely on your instincts as a parent. Like if you go to a school and you feel like you don't like the vibe or just something is off about it, then don't put your child there. Do you understand? I like principals and proprietresses and proprietors that are involved in their school. I feel like they give their all to the school and that is what you want for your child. I, I, I just feel like meeting the proprietress at Future Truth, like, there was a time I thought I was going to have a school. It's not too little, it's still possible. <laughs> but meeting her just like reignited that thing. I'm like, hmm, I remember when I said I wanted to have a crash, maybe just a small nursery primary school, just small nursery primary school. And when I saw her with the way she was talking and the things that we talked about, you could tell that she was very sound and she knew what she was doing. In fact, I would highly recommend Future Truth. So if you're, if you're looking for where to put your children, like especially let's start with summer school. And I feel like summer school is a nice way to try a school. So let's say with summer school now, I feel like you should try future truth because they're in lucky phase one, especially for those of you that live in that area that find it easy to commit there. A lot of people work in lucky, lucky phase one. So it will be easy for you to take your kids to school. It will be easy for you to pick them up and all of that. And oh, and I like that they were linked to Premier Hospital. So if your child is sick, they just take your picking straight to Premier Hospital. So I like stuff like that. Like, let me know that child is the priority. My child is the priority. And I just like that the school environment inspired my children. Tito is someone that is a bit hard to please. I don't know if you guys know. <laughs> Tito is hard to please. So when he went there, he just felt at home. He loved the vibe and he kept saying he hopes it goes back there. So I'm just like, wow, yes, my son, let's start with summer school first, okay? So, and they have like nice rates, so the rates are not bad at all. I think I'm going to put their link in the description box and I'm going to put it um, on the screen so that you can see it. Um, if you're thinking of what to do for your children this summer. And by the way, if you're in Lagos, Tell me what you are doing for your children. Even if you are not in Lagos, tell me what you are doing for your children this summer because I really, really want to know. I feel like this is one of the ways, best ways to pass time. I feel like one of the reasons I don't film as often as I should film is <laughs> like I'm busy doing something else. Typically, I would fold these clothes and just go about my day. But I feel like folding the clothes went by easier and sweeter as I was talking to you guys. Maybe I should be doing my chores and chatting with you. Maybe that's that's a new <laughs> the new kind of content on my channel. Do your chores and chats. I kind of feel like it's like when you're just sitting with your friend and you're washing plates, everything goes by so so fast. I still have more clothes to organize. Oh. So I'll just get on with it. But yeah, I really, really want to know your plans for this summer for your kids. Especially if you have more than one child. When you have more than one, you begin to think about serious things like this. So after folding, what I need to do is to cook. You guys know that we are doing our kitchen, so I can't just go to the kitchen and cook when 
I'm in the mood or when I'm supposed to cook. So what we've been doing is bulk cooking. So we put it in the fridge, freezer, and we microwave when we're ready. And then on days when I have to cook, I go to my parents' place, pack up my food stuff and my utensils and pots. You guys, it is stressful. <laughs> but by next week, the kitchen should be ready. Hey. So I'm excited about that. So it's not been easy. I feel like the kitchen is the most important part of the house. Very, very important. You can't even just go to the kitchen and boil um, water for tea right now because everything is higgy hard above. By next week, it is going to be completed and new kitchen will be set. So I need to make some chips because Tito and Tiara, I feel like they live on chips on some days. So there's this chip I make that is crunchy and savory and delicious. I feel like, okay, I'm going to film a part of the recipe for you guys so that you can see it. Well, I'll, I'll film the recipe. Um, it's hard filming at my parents' place, but I'll film it. I feel like it's about to rain again. It's been raining cats and dogs for the past few days. And small sunshine. I have dirty clothes that I need to sun outside and there is no sun. And I don't have the washing machine that dries. So, once I pack these clothes, I'm going to make some savory crunchy chips. So keep watching if you're interested in stuff like that. What I did was I boiled the potatoes halfway and then I transferred them to this flour mixture. The full recipe is on my channel in a different video. So I've just done that and then I fry it and then I season it with like some seasoning, some pepper, some coriander and I just mix it and the kids love it so much you guys because it is so extra crunchy and it's just different from the normal chips you fry every day. Yeah, what happened? Why are you eating goat's meat? You are eating your pet goat? <laughs> you want peanuts? Tiara loves peanuts. I don't know why. It's because he's a baby. Sorry, you can't take peanuts because it's choking hazard. When you're grown and a lady, you can take peanuts. peanuts. But peanuts is not for babies. Sorry, when you are grown, you are going to have peanuts. <coughs> Aunties, see what you have done. So, I'm working now, but I wanted to show you guys something. So, the um, keyboard that came with my iMac, for some reason, just stopped working. Like, it would be typing by itself. And my husband was like, maybe you poured water on it. But I know I did not pour anything on it. But anyways, since it wasn't working, it's not been working for weeks. And it was affecting my productivity. 
So my husband got me this one and it just feels so weird. It looks nice, but <laughs> it just feels so different like a typewriter. I feel like maybe I should look for a pink one. Maybe it will encourage me or make me pro more productive. But anyways, oh, it is made by this brand. I don't know where he bought it from. I'm watching YouTube videos now, watching some Yoruba movies, editing videos, and it's time for me to go to bed, but I need to do some work. Today has been a long day. It's time for me to take Tiara to bed, but I need to take off my makeup first, take my bath, take her to bed. But I feel like today was a productive day. Hey guys, hope you are doing well. Today is another day and we are on our way out. A friend of mine is celebrating her birthday and I feel like her husband is doing a surprise party for her <laughs> because it was her sister that sent the invitation for the birthday so we're just going to the house and going to spend some time with her yesterday it was raining so much in fact for the past couple of days but right now it's not raining as much well it's actually sunny a bit so i'm happy about that Yeah, come, fine girl. Hold on, mommy. Fine girl, no pimples. Hold on, mommy. What does that mean? <laughs> Let's go. Because I feel, I feel like the dress is too short. That's why I'm wearing the leggings. But anyway, this is outfit of the day. I'm trying to be comfortable. Because we currently don't have a kitchen, it's been so difficult to cook. But once in a while, I just go to my parents' house, cook something, come back. This thing is stressful, but I feel like the end result of the kitchen will make it worth it. Anyways, it's time for me to go. I actually wanted to show you guys something. Wait. So this came in yesterday. <laughs> and it is, a, it is a table, you guys. An Ankara table. So it's made of Ankara here. Wood. And then glass. And with my picture and it says our dearest friend lover cheerleader encourager and inspiration oh you're such a compelling example of class and grace we love your family you're kind funny and brilliant you've been very su supportive we love you so much you make us proud in many ways and we celebrate you this is a ccme stand and appreciation gift tired for some reason i'm exhausted i have work actually a lot of editing to do and i'm going to i'm going to postpone it till tomorrow <laughs> i'll do that tomorrow but for now i just want to take my bath and watch a show 
my kids were very very happy to go out i feel like sometimes i feel like i lock them in the house too much i feel like there's so much more they could be doing <laughs> and when they went out today they were so so excited so happy and when we were leaving they were crying so i kind of feel bad i don't know do you feel the same way like you feel like <sighs> there's no activity for them to do so i'm really thinking of what they can get up to this summer period so that they can enjoy it and so that it can be memorable but anyways i'll keep thinking about that i'll keep searching online and keep trying to see if i come up with any ideas for now it is bedtime. time